Okay, this is an Ikigami 1704 yeah. that they're using for their master shading. Yeah, okay, and then you got the blue. The 1750 would be the more critical one if you want to go that high end. I think those are about three grand. Okay, but this you thought was 1700 or ish yeah, I think or it's something? Under two grand, I believe. Okay, so if you had the, the minimum gear, you know, like one, let's say you had to pick one um, scopes or waveform or whatever, like what would you absolutely have to have to to shade shade it well? Minimal gear? Uh, like for instrumentation, I know you could have a monitor and probably do it, but I mean, if you had to... I, I would definitely want a scope. Uh, a vector scope or a waveform monitor? Both. Yeah. Do you do a lot of live color correction? You're painting it or? Oh, yeah. Okay, see, we've never done that. Yeah, I don't do it when it's on air, but you, know, you take off to another camera and you saw something going to tweak, that's when you're tweaking it, and just little increments at a time. But you just try to find something that's white and use your vector scope to try to get it centered up, or how do you how do you, how do you paint on the I, fly? I'd look at it, if I had something white, I would definitely use the white to bring it in. Like if you're looking at this shot right here and you're seeing the white and it's kind of moving around, how know, do you know where? I would where know where the, I take the biggest, white biggest option. Deal. So it would be this most likely on that. And then I would match that particular color to the camera I thought looked the best. Okay. Because I don't know enough except for the, the biggest dents dot there needs to get to the center for your white balance to be right is that yes. right yeah. if it's white if you shoot white the center is white but otherwise it's just a season to taste based on experience yeah it's all you know like uh, the greens it's like the green right here so you could bring if you had another one where the green was over here you could bring the green as a match but this is as long as that uh, rotation is set right yes it, those greens and everything are always going to lay in that right yes. area. Yep. Okay, and do you ever, do you mess with the uh, coloring the blacks or is it mostly? Oh yeah, yeah, that's the first thing you set. You, you bring your iris down so you got a black screen. Sure. You bring your blacks up to uh, make those, uh, hit the center point on all your blacks and then bring up your black level to uh, 7%. Yeah. You so set them all the same, I'd set them all right down to zero. All your cameras you break the blacks. But yeah. that's on a waveform monitor, not on yeah, an extra scope, right? So you're, yeah. You're and do you have to still punch in oh, to see the... Things, you'll see the blacks will center right here. Where's so the blacks on this? It's it, it center. Bring them all down to... The, never seen the blacks on scopes before. Yeah. So I would uh, have to turn the two cameras. See, they're off right now. See how it's jumping? Yeah. So if I want to match, I'm going to bring this one down a little bit. Cut between the two now closer. And then I can bring my, my dots to match by painting my blacks. All right, yeah. So I'm going in this center. So one of the one of the things on cameras, you know, they have the auto black balance thing. Do you yeah. always do it manually, or Stop. can you use trust that? That's your starting point. Okay. And what's oh, you, what do you have for a, a leader? Okay. Have you ever used any uh, software-based scopes like Blackmagic, Scott, or any of that kind of stuff? Uh, you have a general. I haven't. I have not. Uh, I've seen them. Yeah. I 